guys, welcome back to another video and today we are back with the OG setup. I want to invite you and I want you to say hi to our new family member. <laughs> Milo! Oh my gosh. Okay. You just ate so it's kind of like doubtful. <laughs> I just washed my feet. <laughs> he is the new puppy in the family, you guys. He... It's the cutest little thing ever. My mom found him online. It was a cute little Shih Tzu as well, just like Mia. Um, and it's been forever since I introduced you guys to Mia. Let me roll back the clip. I did not have time to film an intro for this video because everyone was sleeping at my house. Uh, and I want you guys to meet my baby, Mimi. She is on live YouTube. She is five months and she is so cute. Um, That's insane. I have, uh, we have another dog. It's Technically, Evelyn's as well, but, you know, sharing is caring, bitch. Anyways, the real reason why we're here today, I have the book collection with me. <gasps> here is the book collection. You get all four palettes. I think they sell it for... So they're $15 each if you buy them individually or $50 all together. So you do save a couple of dollars if you buy them together. And yeah, it's in this super cute packaging. And then in the back, you get Miss Jacqueline Hell laughing and... You know, giving you a cute little message on the back. I think they said that you can definitely get all the palettes at Ulta, which I have seen. They're $15 each. Um, but the whole collection is strictly to Morphe only. You take it out of the box, and it's this little cute thing, and then you get all four palettes. So the way that I think I'm going to divide this video series is making a little series. Four palettes here. I think I'm just going to make this into a series. That way, each palette has its own shining moment. So we're going to get our votes in for today. Um, and then we'll see which one of these are the ones that we're going to play with today, and then we'll go on like that. Um, so here's the first one. This one is Dark Magic, and you get blue and like darker colors on the packaging as the sprinkles. And then you open it, you get a little mirror, and then you get the palette. Here is what this looks like. So pretty. Um, the second one is Armed and Gorgeous, which is beautiful. Again, this is what this looks like. Okay, this one is Bling Boss, as you can say. It's super cute, which is kind of similar to the Kylie kind of color scheme, the new summer palette. And this one's Ring the Alarm. Look at things. Look at things. Speaks to you. <gasps> Everyone voted on the Ring the Alarm palette, so we're going to use her today. And it's the one that I freaking swatched on accident. Great! We're gonna do today's video on Ring the Alarm and we're gonna do the other palettes in other videos. If you want to keep watching the series and if you want to continue to help my channel grow, please, I would love for you guys to subscribe, hit the post notification bell, be sure to hit the like button, that it gives so much love to my channel and my videos. And yeah, if you guys want to see how to get the Ring the Alarm palette look, then give on watch. So with the new palettes, I am kind of liking that they're smaller. They have the names in the front. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. There's a cute little mirror and it's travel friendly. Um, I know the other one is an amazing palette. It works so beautifully, but it is not in the slightest bit trouble friendly. So I'm gonna carve out my brow lid. I'm gonna take my ColourPop concealer and the Morphe E43 brush. Let me zoom you in. I'm gonna go ahead and use the E43 and I'm gonna... I love this concealer under my eyes, but I've tried using it as like an eyeshadow primer. And it's a little dry for me. P. Louise base. And I'm going to use this as my eyeshadow primer. This is the Morphe Contour Highlight Sponge. I'm going to go in with the color Rush. And every palette she said that has been put out should be the new formula. So we'll see. And this is a Morphe M504, which is my favorite brush. 
I'm gonna go in with the M518 brush and I'm gonna take the color Alert. And this is just gonna go more directly in the crease. I have absolutely no idea what the hell I'm gonna create today. I don't know, I really, honest to God, I don't know if I'm the one that doesn't get the bad shit palettes because a lot of people are complaining still now that they've received them, but some people are still like gagging over them and I just don't understand like how do some people have good palettes, how do some people have bad palettes, like, like I get it, shit happens with like some, like with the Becca situation. I don't know. My palette works fine. My best friend's palette is, works just as fine. So I have no idea what people are complaining about. I'm sorry if you honest to God have a bad one, but if you're doing it for clout or if you're doing it to get attention and you know cause some controversy and gain followers, like that shit is the most stupidest thing I've ever heard in my entire life and it Pisses me off when people do that. I'm taking Morphe M433 and I'm gonna take the color framed because she is looking like a hot piece of cheesecake. I'm gonna put this into like my hella grease. Something about like orange and purple it gives me like goosebumps and I love it. I don't see like patchiness, but I do see like I have to build some colors. A little bit more than others, which is fine because, you know, that's how some shadows work. Which I'm not mad at. Like, this is just going in twice with the pan and this looks pretty bomb to me. So I don't know where people are having issues creating masks for no reason. But I think at this day and age, people are overly sensitive about every freaking subject. And it's honestly the most annoying thing ever. And... If you're not annoyed of every subject, it's like something did wrong or you're offending somebody. Girl, what happened to like when everyone take everything so lightheartedly? Like everyone laughed at everything. And like I know my sense of humor probably is the most, it's very different from a lot of people. But, and I'm not saying like anything racially. I mean like when it comes to like people literally making a joke and then people taking it offensively like oh are you talking about this or like oh are you shading shady like come on like bro quit making drama and take the joke and that's all i gotta say about that she is looking hella bomb i already am um, just wetting my brush this is a m124 i'm not gonna do any cut creases i'm just gonna apply this little color oh my god it's so freaking pretty i can't and on topic kind of off topic i was watching raw beauty christie's video and it's called the beauty community in quotation marks please watch it i'm gonna leave it down below as a link for you to watch it because it's super duper important we were all trying to be like a beauty community back in the day and i felt and that's one of the biggest reasons why i personally started doing YouTube as well because of that specific reason and all of a sudden like everything on YouTube is like overly sensitive one two overly like dramatic and making everything about tea and drama I understand it like people watch Wendy Williams for a reason are we in this day and age where we that's what we thrive for that's what we want YouTube to be like drama like come on like i graduated high school and i'm not about to go back because people have nothing to do taking that same shade which is framed with an m507 brush so far this is what my palette looks like now that i've used it i've only used one two three four five shades i guess but it's still super pretty i'm gonna go ahead and apply the other eye off camera as well as my brows and we'll come back for the face part because I know you guys like when I do the face. I'm back and I have my eyebrows and my eyelashes on as well as the other eye on. So today's primer mixture, I'm going to use the Flower in Your Prime um, Pore Minimizing Primer and the Smashbox Primer Water, always. So I went to go ask my sister how she thinks my eyeshadow looks and honestly, I think it looks so good. 
and she thought it looked good and it reminded her of Ariana Grande. Um, doing the acoustic version of God is a Woman. I haven't watched that yet, but that's already a compliment. Yes, God is a Woman. Today, I'm going to mix the L'Oreal Pro Glow and the Better Skin by Maybelline. My face light as fuck, but I have redness on my skin, which is normal for me. And then I have like dark spots because of my under eyes, my beard. So I just look like a hot mess. So it looks like I may not be the right shade, but I promise you I shape match to my arms and my body. Have you guys been watching Insatiable? I know some people have given it like some bad reviews, but I love it y'all. It's so good. It's so funny. It has Debbie Ryan in it, aka Jesse, aka Bailey from Sweet Life. Like it's so funny and it's so good. Right now, spoiler alert, I'm at the part where <laughs> Bob and Bob decide to be like gay for each other. And I'm living. I'm like mixing a couple things today for some reason. Um, for concealer, I'm gonna first go in with the Pro Glow as well. Just because I do like this concealer. Um, I think it gives a nice finish, but it also, the color that I have kind of conceals the darkness for some reason. And you see how that kind of took the darkness away, but it's still not full, full coverage. Mm -hmm. The second one I'm going to use is the <laughs> Full Coverage um, Light Illusion Flower Beauty Concealer. I'm going to take the Essence Brighten Up Powder, it's the banana powder, but it's the banana powder I think works for my skin tone. Reminds me of the powder um, from the Kat Von D palette. I'm going to use my Patrick powder from MAC. I'm taking my freshly new shade and light palette. I just had to get rid of the other one. And ta-da! I'm gonna take Shadow Play. Okay, since I'm using more free brushes today, are you guys going to buy the Jaclyn Hill brush collection that she's coming out with? She comes out with a lot of brushes and they're similar to like this kind. I don't know what video I use her Jaclyn Hill favorites brush set but I do have them I have bought them I have used them on my channel and I specifically I don't think I've labeled it as using the products but I know I have them and I specifically said that it is the Jaguar Health favorites blush I'm gonna use pretty vulgar what's it called hush blush and then I'm going to set my whole face now that I have my face products on. This is the Maybelline Face Chrome Metallic Highlighter in Molten Gold with the M500. Highlighter. I also have the shade Rose Gold. And now I'm going to take the M431 with a highlight as well. I'm gonna take Anastasia's of Hollywood because of that didn't give it to me. I'm gonna take this on my inner corner because there is no Ariana Grande album in the last video, but girl, it is so good. You need to get it right now. Like I always do. A E36 brush and the color Secret. Secret, oh, this is Secret. This one. It's like a matte chocolatey brown. I'm gonna blend this on my lower lash line. I'm gonna also take a framed, bringing that purple in there. And now I'm gonna take the color Mugshot, which is this color brought here. And I'm just gonna blow out my lower lash line. I 
I'm gonna quickly line my lip. Okay, I'm gonna take the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in 951. Not a nudie nude, but it's not like a color color either. And to set it all in place, I'm gonna take my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I love the way that it looks. Super glowy, super pretty. It's so good. And the eyeshadow, blendable and pigmented. And it's amazing. So I didn't use Lolly, Bomb Ass, Siren, or Boom in this palette, but I did use all the rest of the shadows in this look today. Um, so I definitely will try those out as well, but for the most part, these eyeshadows are working really, really well for me. I am obsessed with this look. Like, it's super pretty. It's something like you would expect out of this palette. For this palette, in my opinion, the Ring the Alarm palette is really worth your investment. It's super nice. The mattes are blendable. Some are buildable, so you can get the color payoff. You just obviously have to build up to it, which is great for most makeup artists. The shimmers in this palette are so pretty. Like, do you see my eyelids? Hello? Hello? The only thing that I don't have in this palette is like the white um, inner corner, which is my highlighter. So that draws a bum to you. Oh well, but it's in one of these <laughs> palettes. Overall, I give this palette a 9 out of 10. I'm just going to knock it down because it's a 9 or 10 the way you kind of think about it. It's a 9 for me because I thought I was just going to have to automatically just not have to build up the color, but um, it's really up to you. For my eyes, it's a 9. If you love build up, building up colors, then it's a 10 for you. Just in my experience, I think it's a 9. There's nothing wrong with it. I just wasn't expecting to build up colors. So yeah, let me know what other palette we can do. Since I finished this look, I guess we can look on Instagram and see what palette, what sec what's the second highest voted palette. I have 7 votes for Dark Magic. So the next palette is Dark Magic. Ring the alarm. Dark Magic is going to be the next video in the series. So I hope you guys are excited. I love the Dark Magic palette. It's so super pretty. Fall season is coming and I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was so much fun. I cannot wait to do the rest of these videos. I love Jacqueline. I think she's one of the best makeup artists ever and I love her and I appreciate her and her hustle that she has because this is her fifth collaboration with Morphe. She came out with her Jacqueline Hill favorite eyeshadows from Morphe and then she came out with her eyeshadow palette and then her Jacqueline Hill favorites palette. I mean Jacqueline favorites brushes and then the vault collection and the next thing is her brushes that she's going to launch with Morphe so let me know if you guys want me to do a video all about those as well. I am thinking about doing right now a video of all my more favorite Morphe brushes so let me know if you guys want to see that one first or the Dark Magic palette first. I'm going to film it right now anyways but let me know which video you want first. Leave it down below the Dark Magic palette video or the, my favorite Morphe brushes so you guys get to know what brushes you would need to buy from Morphe. And that is everything for this video. Me and Milo like to tell you thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!